I'm the Grade 3 teacher at Vuleka North Riding. This morning we're going to talk about dividing with remainders. Dividing is like sharing, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. In order to grab my learners' attention, I put them all at the carpet because on the carpet we can um, do some group work and carpet work, which is very important for foundation phase learning. And it also gives a chance for the children to work with concrete objects and I can get an overview of the entire class in one view. Okay. We are now going to do, who would like to read this for me? Suka, would you like to read this for me please? 11 divided 3 equals. Right, so take your 11, remember they need to be in even groups. So they have to have an equal number in each group. I want to see your groups. Sure, but you guys are clever. Right, Prince, would you like to tell us the answer, please? The, uh, the answer is three remainder two, ma'am. Okay, would you write three remainder two on the board for us, please? <coughs> After I introduce my lesson that way, I then take my learners through to work in groups to do the problem solving section of the lesson. The main, the body of my lesson is um, dividing with remainders. So each group had a specific card and some concrete apparatus with which to um, work out their specific problem. I use a variety of everyday materials like cards, stickers, things that grab the learners attention and with that they then need to work out in their groups the, the answer of the specific sum. Then I allow the children to rotate so that each group gets a chance to do a different activity. Then I allow the children to rotate so that each group gets a chance to do a different activity. Share 19 cards between three people. Right, so let's do that. Okay. So you can see that it says 12. So there's going to be 12 colours in here, aren't there? Three remainder four. Okay. Well, let's have a look and see what's happened here. Share 19 cards between three people. So you've got four, eight, 12, 16. How many stickers were you supposed to have? 15. Working in groups is great because that way learners actually learn from each other and they bounce ideas off each other and um, basically brainstorm the problem solving together and then come up with a solution together without the teacher actually telling them what the answer is. After they've worked at their tables, they then come back to the carpets where we do a conclusion oh, together. Sorry. Which problem solving sum was the most difficult? Um, yes, Danny. None of them were hard. Okay, so they were all nice and easy for you. Right. Kenny, which one would you say was the most difficult? Uh, Ma'am, I say that the sticker ones were very hard. Why was it hard, Kenny? I'd like you to explain how you got your answer. Would you like to come to the board and explain why it was hard and how you got your answer? And then, guys, you can help her and you can tell her what strategies you use to get the answer. 15. 15 what? 15 stickers? Divided by 15 stickers divided, divided by? By 4 people. Okay. Equal to 2. Okay, don't tell us the answer now. Tell me what you did. Um, uh, we were 4 of us, so then each one of us, we um, I handed out 15. 15 stickers, yeah? Yes, ma'am. So then in each person yes. so then then um, there was uh, three remainder three I can write the answer down did you sometimes not get the right answer Patrick yes sometimes. and it would have been nice to have been able to check your answer right yes. what does checking mean anyway Tepi Checking means looking for something at the end. The check is incorrect. Yes. Mm -hmm. But there is a reminder, but we just looking in for now. We are close Yes. So three times four. Yes. Will equal to twelve. Yes. And then you plus the three you left out. Okay. 
and then and you will get. Do 15. 15. Because remember, man always says that plus and minus are opposite, opposite each, each other, other, right? And times are divided by the mommy and the daddy of plus and minus. Yes. Okay. So, because girls always play with girls, and boys always play with boys. boys. So, when we times with times it? Opposites from each other. From dividing. Okay. So, to check, let's just take a quick sum like this. If we say 5 minus 2 equals 3, how would we check this sum? Yeah. No, no, no. 5 minus 2, because it's a dumb page. 5 minus 2 equals 3. So, how would we check this sum? See, Ada? You can say. 3 plus 2 is 5, and then from the 2, 8, the, it's 2, and then you minus the th you minus 2 from 5, it will give you 3. So do you see, there's your opposites, okay. This is an opportunity for us to see where the learning actually took place and what the learners have then learned from that specific lesson, and to ensure that what I set out in the interim of the lesson has actually been achieved. It's easier for the children to learn with the concrete apparatus. As I will notice now, giving the children the written work, you'll see that they've actually grasped the concept better because they've actually physically had an opportunity to explore the material and work out the sum and learning is successful.